Yo guys, I've got a spark which I'm going to use to ignite the fire for the filler of this uh, right, uh, game right here. We have the cake collection, aka the best part of the entirety of this game. And if you disagree, you are wrong, because that's how opinions work. Alright, I got one. And now I've opened the life realm, god fuck. I, I did that when I first blasted off to the uh, island with so much shores on it, just because I didn't want to, uh, you know, to be interrupted during my oh-so-important cake collecting. Yay, the filler segment. <laughs> Kill me. I could make a dad joke right here, but I think, you know, the cake segment is uh, torture enough, so I'm not going to. I'm going to spare you that. Alright, I got two. I think I know where the other three are. I've started One straight of off the, the arena, battle. so let's just hope that I don't kill bad juju in an arena of all things. <laughs> Bro, okay. I We need... We need juju and uh, Aurora to live. Because we're gonna sacrifice them and bring back Tidepool and Crankcase. Yeah, that sounds like much of a plan. I oh, Skylands is so great! It's really, really great! Okay, I'm gonna start with my awful singing right here. I'll leave that to Sal. <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves. This is basically the episode of us interrupting each other. Uh, all I'm going to say is that, let's be honest with ourselves here, the Skylands National Anthem is basically the best National Anthem you're ever going to hear in any video game ever. Alright. I... No, you, you know what this episode is? This is the episode of... I haven't gotten this to proof watch any of the episodes yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mostly but because... What was funny is that I've edited them, I just haven't uploaded them to YouTube yet. <laughs> oh. Well, now you're, you're gonna have uh, three more... Okay, so I got three. Where the fuck are the other two? Anyway. Um... Because uh, I, I just, you know, you, you've got uh, three more episodes to edit now, counting this one and the next two. Assuming we make it that far, but I'm pretty sure we will. I found a cheat in an abandoned theme park, and I am going to abuse the fuck out of it. Ha ha ha, you called it theme park now. I suppose you are embracing the inner UK within you. Well, you're you're, you're the one embracing the inner internet funny man, so... <laughs> Now the next thing all you've got to do is, you know, fully embrace the UK stereotype and, you know, watch Doctor Who at 8 o'clock in the evening with a good old cup of tea and Dunkin' Biscuits. Because oh, apparently that's all what us UK people do. Granted... Of all of you are YouTubers, apparently. <laughs> well, granted, um, that is basically what we have been doing as of late with, you know, the lockdown and everything because we've been stuck at home, so all what we can do is watch Doctor Who at the moment. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> this arena is surprisingly easy. I remember having a harder time with it than this. You know why I remember having a harder time with that arena? Because the last time that I played this game was uh, on Nightmare Mode for the Imagine Lock. <laughs> well, the last time apart from Cutthroat. But... Oh gosh. Oh no, Chompies, I'm screwed for the most strongest, deadliest, most scary enemies in the whole of Skylands. So, apart from, apart from Cutthroat, the last time that I played this game was like, at least a year, a year ago. Maybe a year and a half ago. I've, I've like just why. realized what Skylander 7 should be if it ever happens. What it should be is it should be a zombie apocalypse, but instead of zombies, we get Chompies. Oh. Activision, I literally just, you know, did most of the development process for you because, believe it or not, making the actual game is the easy part, is actually coming up with the game that's difficult, so now that I've gone and done all the difficult work for you, you know, Activision, feel free to just take that and, and run with it. <laughs> okay, seriously, where is the fifth one in the overworld? I'm trying to get all the overworld ones right now. Uh, there's one from one of the, um... Surprise attacks right next to Golden Arcade, but one. oh, I was about I, to say, I but I think you need to yeah. activate that through Pop Fizz. I did that. No, no, you can you, you can automatically do it. I did that one. I did the one through the Life Realm. I did the one. 
at the top of the waterfall near Mushroom River. And I did the one in Sky Fortress. Where is the fifth one? You know that cave where you blow it up right next to the life realm? I'm pretty sure that's the last one. You can quote gotcha. me on that. I'm gonna check there right now, and then I'll get started on my arena. I'm pretty sure I can handle it with Flare Wolf. Flare Wolf is pretty good. Cute free, don't at me. <laughs> well, of course he's pretty good. He's like the best damn sensei in this game. And he's he's got a good soul link pair too, because he's linked with Chompy Mage. Yeah, you've you've got a bear that in mind. We we agree that's our best pair that we have left, right? Cause yeah, and you have Taekwon Crow, I have Starcast! <laughs> <laughs> yep, found it. That's the last one in the overworld. Alright. Oh yes, I was right then. It's as I always say, I'm right about everything because I'm right-handed. Therefore, all my facts are rightly the same as my handedness. So therefore, I must be right about everything. That's how rightness works. Ninety percent of the time, I am right all the time. <laughs> job out those birds. Are you sure I'll you're right about that? Not now that you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> I also really like the word Shaw for some reason, because I had an old uh, maths teacher at high school named Mr. Shaw, so that's uh, nah. that's a word close to my heart, because I've always loved maths, and he's one of the main reasons why I loved it too, because he was such a sick teacher. Well, that's cool. It is cool. That's why I'm saying about it. You know, my mouth is opening, words are coming out, so... <laughs> that's kind of what the saying it means. All right, let's uh, let's get into this arena after this loading screen here. Actually, Yay, well, we evil have... creation trons! We do have we do have one more really good pair actually after after Flare Wolf and them. We have Ambush and Blaster Tron. Okay, so what's your opinion on Mr. Cat? Not his gender like or Mr. its Cat. gender, but the actual character. You know he... we. We, we all have good. our own opinions on Mr. Cat's gender. Here's the thing, Mr. Cat's gender is basically an opinion rather than a fact at this point. Okay, so here's the thing is, I... No, it's not. It's not, actually. I got that wrong when I did my Crash Sins video. I said that... I, I didn't know what gender fluid was until this year, so I said Mr. Cat was gender fluid, and I was wrong. He is male. Because the thing is, Purple Cat, feminine voice, but he's got a goatee. So, what what are you supposed to do there? But no, he's male. I see. <laughs> Let's end this long running debate of what gender is, uh, what Mr. Cat, uh, what, what gender Mr. Cat is, if I can even get my words straight. Uh, regardless, going back to your opinion on actual Starcast, what do you think? I hate him. <laughs> oh. Fuck Starcast. Did I say Starcast? I meant you said Mr. Starcast. Cat. Mr. Cat's pretty good. I like Mr. Cat, actually. Yeah, because that's the what I'm trying to say, you know, Sorcerer like is going to be another decent pair, so long as you actually like Mr. Cat. Yeah, I like Mr. Cat. The only thing that I don't like about Mr. Cat is that he's frail as shit. Oh, that's fair. He only has 660 health. Compared to Flare Wolf, who has 810 and has just as many range attacks. <laughs> I'm just saying. Remember when Trigger Happy had 400 health in Spice Adventure? Oh, dude. How far we've come. I didn't think that really uh, mattered, though, considering, you know, Trigger Happy's uh, happiness when it comes to the trigger. Capital job there, Skylar. Yeah. I think we've all learned a valuable lesson today. Beware evil robots. And on top of that, you've truly earned this reward. Some bags of flour so, from the evil as for they should make a fine so what's what's your opinion on Starcast? I don't. I, I think we've firmly established, firmly established my opinion on Starcast. What's your? Yeah, opinion because on you Starcast? love the character. It's been so clear throughout this series. You've been expressing how much that he's your favorite sensei lie. and how I'm, great he is. I'm not actually gonna lie though. I've been I've been practicing. I've been practicing trying to no hit chaos, and I I can't do it. It can't be done. You can't no hit chaos with Starcast. You just can't do it. <laughs> Impossible. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, I love Starcast design. I also love his name. You know, you could say you, you, you could incorporate so many puns into that name. 
Um, and of course I love puns, so naturally I love the name. And the fact that the design is so galaxy based is, is really, really cool. But I hate the game playing. I can't stand him. You know, he's his, so his slow, entire... he's not nearly powerful enough. His entire shurikens, all, all five of them, when he throws them out, it does just as much as one of Grave Clobber's punches. <laughs> I hate him. He's, he's, he's dog shit. Dog shit sensei. Yeah, and I thought the senseis were supposed to be the overpowered ones in this game. And then you just have Starcast. But no, you can't fault the design. The design is pretty awesome. Yeah, the design is really cool. But even th even though that that makes him even more disappointing because he has a really cool design, so you'd think that he would be a really good character. Nope, dog shit. There have been several characters with awesome designs that have uh, disappointed us. Like, you don't like Chain Reaction. I personally love Chain Reaction and both his design and his gameplay, okay. but I know you're not a huge I'm, fan. I, I'm going to admit, I have overhated on Chain Reaction a lot. That said, I still don't think he's good. Or at least not as good as everyone says he is. But you don't want let's, to hurt let's... your best friend Crash, Crash Razzle's feelings, do you? His fee wings, I should say. <laughs> I just, I love hearing you say my best friend Crash Razzle now. Well, how about what fee wings? That's, that's also an iconic quote from In Between Us, which I've just watched as of recent, and I loved every moment of it. That show is hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> what have I done to you? <laughs> DON'T HURT HIS fee WINGS, OKAY?! <laughs> You're a dead memer now, just like me. You're one of us, Ignite! <laughs> I have evolved, one could say. Anyway, uh, I, I recently did the uh, Evil Robot Uprising with uh, everyone's favorite character, Jetvac, just now. So, uh, that's raised for question, or for theory, you should say. Is Scarlet's Imaginators the prequel to the Terminator franchise? No. I, I could make a really interesting theory about that. Not that I'm going there's, to, but I could. <laughs> there, there's not. There's no. There's no mention of Skynet. I will search every nut and cranny until I find a net in the sky in Skylands, and then I can call it officially a Skynet. If you can find a net in the sky in Skylands, I don't know. I'm not. I, I, I don't have anything for that. You know what? If you can, no, I'm not gonna bet that because I'm gonna lose that bet. This is so hilarious. Um, what I've realized is that uh, to to make this game even more lazy, uh, I've I've gone into a second iteration of the um, Evil Robots right now, for Battlefield Blitz or whatever the fuck it's called. And, um, there's a cap uh, there's an asset from Captain Clux Chicken HQ, you know, one of the chicken boxes, which normally, in that level of superchargers, it has, of course, that purpley aura to it to signify that you can either shrink or grow it up. In this game, it still has that purple aura, despite the fact that you can no longer utilize that mechanic. Damn. Well done, developers! You can control C, control V. Congratulations. That that takes about as much effort as it's taking to make the Baku Run game. <laughs> although, although I'm actually excited for for the Baku Run game. I'm actually I'm gonna watch that. I'm I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna get it day one, and I'm actually gonna play it. Oh, I was about to switch to Air, but Airstrike is dead. Oh no, that's tragic. I could have swapped to air, but I'm not. I'm not currently using your screen. What's funny I'm is old. that you, you know your signature phrase. You learn something new every day. That is my signature phrase. Um, I learned something new the other day about PlayStations because apparently there's a feature called Share Play where you can literally like share the controller with someone else in the party. So really? we did that. Yeah, we did that with um. Star Wars Battlefront 2 the other day because basically it turns out Star Wars Battlefront takes about like 48 hours to install. So um, 
I installed it the previous day, and it turns out that when I went to go play it with with my other mates, it still hadn't downloaded yet. So what we had to do is we had to participate in the share play feature on our party, so that then we could constantly swap the controller between um, one party member and myself. So then you know it was just taking it turns playing the game, but basically it worked the same as local play, uh, local multiplayer. But, you know, with only one person playing at once, if that makes sense. I've, I've, so that's what share play does. Yeah. There's a tech zone and I can't swap to Robo because you killed him. Yeah, I did kill him. I brutally murdered him in his sleep, might I add. Alright, the freaking tank. Fun fact, I actually technically lost an Imaginator here in the Imagine Lock, and I didn't count it. And everyone was pissed at me and memed on it. You didn't count it! That comes as a surprise. Oh, shut up. <laughs> no, no, the only question with you is when do you actually count to death? When some stupid- okay. You'll see, you'll see when you cut back to the, you'll, you'll see when you watch the video, you'll, you'll see when you watch this episode in proof. That, 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 just the way it, just the way it happened out there. I was supposed to die and I didn't. I was supposed to get shot to death there and I didn't. He was supposed to shoot me and he didn't there and, yeah. I so suppose it, the game so is throwing us a bone, you could say. I could in incorporate a Scarlet's Pun into that, and I could say it's throwing us a footy bone. But I'm not going to do that because that's a lame, no ha ha Scarlet's joke. But I did it anyway, technically speaking. Two All very right. conflicting things I just said uh, juxtaposed together right there. Big words. Very uh, bi big words make, yeah. So I'll finish the cake section. I'm just waiting for you now. Oh, I see that you went and got all of the uh, overworld ones off screen. Uh, no. <laughs> oh. Well, I I did that at the beginning of the episode. I guess you did that uh, while I was talking. I went to the arena, then I went to Battlefield Blitz, then I got all the overworld ones, and then I went to Battlefield Blitz again, because the options were Battlefield Blitz, or the fucking battleship right outside Sky Fortress. Please, no. Wasn't going to do that again. Well, I think I still have one more after this one that I'm on. So <laughs> okay, I'll just be chilling, see if I can discover the Rat Kingdom and beat that in the time. <laughs> if you lose any characters in Rat Kingdom, do we count it? I'm not actually going to do Rat Kingdom, that would just be, you know, a risk not worth taking. It's as I say in my lock, you've got uh, fucking live rip streams. rats all over the place in that level. Yeah, that's the problem. Because here's the thing with locks. Low risk, high reward. For lower risks you take in locks, the more you're rewarded for it. Alright, I think I have one more after this one because I couldn't find the freaking... Yeah, I couldn't find the freaking last one. The only reason why I know the roots in this game is because I've sped around it, so that's mm. helped. Experience is experience, no matter where you get that experience, as experience would say. Yeah, like, apparently so you can beat this game in like two hours. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> I got cool. pretty I close on the fucking Switch version. If you can get close to two hours in this game on the Switch version, I think under two hours is no problem i have i have the wii u version i could the get, wii u I version is still play. better than the switch version when it comes to loading screens yeah i still have i still have one more to do after this one you must have done that incredibly quickly gotta go fast as they say because i felt like i did those uh those two segments that i'd already done i felt like i did those pretty quick <laughs> Hey, I had to get my uh, comeback, you know, you, you've beat me practically almost every single episode of this series, so I had to get there eventually. Yeah. I had to be, as you say, good at the game at least once. In fact, no, you don't even say that, I'm jumbling up your quotes, I'm being good at the video game. 
<laughs> what have I done to you? If if you're gonna say it, you gotta say it correctly. Yeah. <laughs> what have I done to you, Ignite? I am officially broken, and you have demigod to thank. <laughs> You are one of us now, Ignite. <laughs> I have joy in for Dark Side. Welcome to Wobbly Gang. <laughs> this is I'm a moment the where I just done. insert every single Star Wars meme under the book in the video, but I'm not going to do that because that requires actual editing, and I'm too lazy. <laughs> welcome to Welcome to Wobbly Gang, Ignite. Welcome, <laughs> officially, of course. <laughs> All right, let's do the fucking danger dungeon. Except not, I guess, because the game says danger dungeon, but it's not actually the danger dungeon. <laughs> Magic, look at that, I actually get to switch. Ooh, you've got a switch. I managed to switch for between Bad Juju and then I did for whole of the final part of the episode with Golden Queen. Oh, look at that, I missed a cat. Stall linked. <laughs> What's good about this is that going into abandoned theme park, not amusement park, uh, I get to remain as Golden Queen because I'm pretty sure the first elemental switch is Earth. Oh sure. yeah, you actually have your- actually both of our Earth characters are alive. Yeah, the only characters that we have which are different from one another is that you still have your magic left and I still have my air left. Apart from that, all the other elements are um, the same. Huh. I, I didn't realize that, because in my practice, I'd always just speed, speed around the first part with some, someone. I don't remember who I sped around it with, but I, I just I remember never playing as Barbella in that segment. So I'm like, oh, my Barbella must be dead. I thought that subconsciously, but no. My if Barbella you, is alive. If you sped around it with anyone other than Flare Wolf, then you made a tragic mistake. I was, okay, admittedly I was, for, for some of it, I was having fun and I was playing with, uh, what's it, with Tidepool and I just, I was playing with dead characters mostly, actually. Hmm. Just, you know, just because of the haha -ha fun, you know? And also because Tidepool is dead and you're probably gonna kill Bad Juju. Ain't no fucking way I'm killing Aurora on this boss fight. And now watch me watch me kill Aurora on the boss. Except for the fact that I'm not even gonna play Bad Juju in abandoned theme park. Well then don't kill Blastertron. Oh look at that, I have to play as Aurora now. I've had to switch twice this episode. Yay! I was I was expecting to get the whole thing done with Flare Wolf, but no. <laughs> the game's just like, ah nope. Alright, so. If I remember correctly, I have to grab a key here. I don't remember for sure, though. Yup, found it. All right, Every let's... time someone brings up the key, it reminds me of a lock and key victory from biology because I am an absolute nerd. And it's one of my favorite things from biology, so it just... It's gonna retain in my brain forever. I'm never gonna forget about the lock and key theory. Anyone that says Aurora is bad is dummy stupid. I wouldn't know, I haven't played her ever since I took her out of the box and played her for about five minutes. Dude, she's honestly good. She's honestly good. Yeah, her health is a little low for a melee character, but honestly, she's really good. My favorite thing about that figurine is the attention to detail, you know, her robes having the face of Eo uh, Master Eon embedded upon it is... Really, really good design work. Yeah. If, if nothing else, most of the figures for Imaginators have a lot of detail put into them. And that's at least one thing you should give the game credit for. And I say most of them because Wolfgang is clearly the wrong color and Dr. Crankcase's legs aren't painted. <laughs> well then. But apart from that, every other figure in this game looks phenomenal. Yeah, I remember getting Bad Juju for the first time, and then realizing that she oh, has dude. so much more detail on her than meets the eye. Admittedly, Bad Juju's figure does look really nice. Alright, I have gotten all of the cake parts now, yay. Woohoo! 
Now we can end the boring filler episode! Yay. Am I still on the call? Yes, you are still in the call. Okay. Every time you go silent, it makes me- I- I'm, I- I like- I get worried. What are you trying to say here, Debbie God? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that you- you scare me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. As I should, I'm a black belt in kickboxing, I'll beat your ass. Uh, please don't. I, I only have one ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, it's your outro, man. It is my outro. Okay, goodbye. Oh, okay. Might as well have an anticlimactic outro for once. Shake things up. Tell you guys why I never do boring um, outros. Because if you guys want to know why I don't do boring outros, that is why.